Hey everybody, welcome to Lift Free and Tool, and today we have a special episode for you. We are going to be reviewing the most powerful handheld battery leaf blower that I've ever known. This is the brand new 40 volt Ryobi leaf blower. The model number for this is RY404100. Now, they haven't started advertising this, but I've seen that it, they actually started posting and selling, so I picked it up because I was really excited about it. Some of the specs on this are almost unbelievable, especially for a handheld unit. It specs out at 190 miles an hour maximum and 730 CFM. Now that's almost unheard of because that's more powerful than the current double battery backpack. And actually, I don't know of any other manufacturers that sell anything this powerful that's handheld. So today, let's open up the box, let's see what's inside. Right now you can get this at Home Depot for $300. Let's just check it out and then we're gonna do a small test today as well. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. At first we have the chute. Set that to the side. Next we have a cone. So I guess what they're doing with this cone, there's actually two cones here. So you have the adapter and then you have this rubber cone. And this is interesting because on the cone, you can see that it says 160, 175, 190. So at the CFM, that the constant CFM that you have, as you choke that down, just like a water hose, it increases the pressure coming out, which increases the velocity. So I guess that's 160, 175, 190 miles an hour. And this is really flexible. It's just rubber. So they give you two of them. I guess if you're going to hit the ground or just durability, you do get an extra. Okay, so on the side, oh, this is nice. So check this out, this is the brand new 40 volt rapid charger. So this is typically $100, but you actually get it with this kit. So, oh man, I'm pretty excited about that. That's nice to have. Okay, so the main body of the unit itself. Um, this is pretty cool. You do have a couple feature series. So you have a dial. And this dial locks it on, so if you pull the handle here, you push this down, that locks it in place, so it saves a little bit of the, uh, I guess, the finger muscles that you have. And then you also have the turbo button at top. Now, the model number on the back of this blower body is RY404010VNM. So that's a little bit different than what is on the box. So I guess the box is a model number for the whole kit. This is the model number for the fan itself. So if we take a look at the back of it, you can see it's huge. This is, this is really big and it's at an angle. So the diameter of this is eight inches this way and a, about nine inches this way. So this is also part of the Whisper series fans as well. So the one thing that I noticed and it's really prominent with the Whisper fans is that the inside is lined with foam and that's the dead any of the echoing sounds coming from it let's continue to move on so last but not least we have one we have two and we have the paperwork here so just like always home depot they want you to register it for a chance to win ten thousand dollars so just remember to register all your tools get the warranties going and now this is really nice because you get two batteries with this particular tool. Okay, so we actually get two four amp hour batteries, not just one. These batteries are typically like $130 a piece. You're getting two of them. You get the blower and you get the rapid charger here. Uh, these are the newer style four amp hour batteries. The model number on these are OP40404VNM and they're lithium ion, obviously and that's 144 watt hours. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. We need to get the batteries on charge as well. Okay, so it's a positive click and it clicks exterior. Uh, on the bottom, it does have a place to hang it on a nail as well, so you can hang it right on the wall. Now let's get this cone on. All right, so the cone is just a tight fit. It doesn't actually click in. This handle here is just to uh, help you get off, help help you actually pull it off because it is just a tight fit. Uh, let's see, do we have any juice? No, that battery's dead. 
and that battery is dead. Okay, so what I would say so far under first impressions with this tool, it's pretty light. I would say it's probably a little bit lighter than the last one. It doesn't have an adjustable handle, which I'm okay with because on the last version I had to adjust it a few times just to get it where I wanted it. Okay, so one thing I noticed that was pretty quiet and you heard that, but the batteries are dead so we do need to charge them. Let's get the batteries charged, then let's go test this thing out. Alright guys, so it's like 5.30 a.m. I love getting up early, let's get this done. What I'm going to test is I actually just got through cutting the grass yesterday, so I have some really heavy grass and I've put it together, or I, I've, I, I guess, cut it all to where it collects in one area. So this is about six, seven inches high just in here, so it's in one of my fields. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it, and if you know, if you've ever tried to clear grass, it's really hard to do, so... Um, let's put this to the test and uh, let's just put it through the ringer and see how much we can blow on each of its settings. Alright, let's try it on some sand. This is kind of interesting because it is wet sand. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but ah, let's put it to the test. So this may seem a little ridiculous to some people, but I want to see what this can really do. Let's move a little bit of a pile of gravel, see if we can just push it out of the way. I know it's not practical, well maybe it is to some people. Okay, everybody, stay tuned because next I'm very impressed with how this worked and I just can't really say enough about it. I didn't believe the claims when they were true at 730 CFM, 190 miles per hour, but I didn't believe the claims about this 40 volt brushless uh, blower either at 550 CFM. And then, of course, we have the backpack blower which has over 600 CFM. So the plan next is let's face all three of these off to see which one actually does the job, does it the best, and we're going to test out battery life too. So stick around everybody. So the one thing I forgot to mention whenever we were out in the field is that the battery only took an hour to charge, which is awesome. Uh, just from the little test that I did, uh, it did go through two bars of batteries, but I did put it through the ringer and I did have it uh, on turbo most of the time. So what I will say is I think they sold us two batteries because you will need two batteries because of the power that this thing is putting out. Um, it's really cool that it comes with two nozzles, so you can cut one uh, if you want it to be a lower, or I'm um, sorry, so you can cut one if you want it to be a lower mile per hour. You can take the tip off, you can use it um, just like that too. <clears throat> I felt that it worked pretty well without the tip on it, and I felt that the extra power, the speed that it needed to cut through certain things with the tip, it really had its place too. So, um, all in all, I am super impressed with this tool. Uh, the turbo button is really easy to use on the last model. It wasn't so easy to use. But I can tell you this, uh, for the money, for what you're getting, 
this really does feel like uh, it's just as good if not better than a lot of the gas units that I've used in the past so anyways I, I with some of the little ridiculous tests that I used with sand and with gravel and with the grass unfortunately it is not fall here so I don't have a lot of leaves to blow around but grass is harder to clear and to spread out than leaves just because leaves they have a lot more surface area to catch the wind to be carried off so I'm not worried about that I'm super happy with how this performs especially with wet grass because that stuff is just really sticky but this cleared it just fine I really hope you all enjoyed the video you know stick around because in the next video when I do the face off I'm going to do the battery comparisons and the life uh, to see how, how long they actually last and see how useful they are compared to each other as well so if you did enjoy the content please consider subscribing I do appreciate it, it helps the channel out don't forget to hit the like button and just in case anyone's wondering go down below hit the link you can get swag just like this and some other really cool stuff like hats and stickers and stuff like that but until next time I hope to see you again take care everyone